Greetings, programs! I'm Funky Monkey. Welcome to my house of love. This video marks my tenth on blip. So, in recognition of that, I'm going to do something special. Tron. Now, I know what you're thinking. But Funky, Nostalgia Chick did Tron last week. That's right, she did. But there's no rule saying I can't give it a bash too. Released in 1982, Tron is the ultimate in cyberspace cinema, and remains the only film to ever utilise backlit animation. And of course, Tron is arguably the first full-length feature to use large amounts of what we today call CGI. So rev up your light cycles, this is Tron. We're immediately introduced to our main antagonist, Sark. You're getting brutal, Sark. Brutal and needlessly sadistic. Thank you, Master Control. Meet Kevin Flynn and his newest program, Clue. They're looking for a very important file. This was the state of hacking in 1982. Come on, you scuzzy data being there. Come on. There's too many of them! But Clue is captured by Master Control. You're in trouble, program. Make it easy on yourself. Who's your user? Forget it, Mr. High and Mighty Master Control! You are making me talk! Master Control is perturbed by Flynn sneaking around. I think we should shut down all access until we find that Flynn, just to be safe. Subsequently, Alan Bradley, cubicle dweller, is frozen out from access to his Tron program. We've had to shut down all Group 7 personnel, just briefly, security. Uh, what's the project you're working on? Well, it's called Tron. It's a security program itself, actually. It monitors all contacts between our system and other systems. Finds anything going on that's not scheduled, it shuts it down. Can watchdog the MCP as well. Sounds good. Which, of course, is executive speak for, I'm going to shut this program down at the first opportunity. But Master C doesn't like the sound of Tron. Do you realize how many outside systems I've gone into? Meanwhile, in the laser bay... Great. Can it send me to Hawaii? Yeah, but you gotta purchase your program 30 days in advance. <laughs> you know, Flynn has been thinking about breaking into the system ever since Dillinger Candon. And he had Group 7 access. Alan and Laura, the laser technician, head down to Flynn's arcade. You better watch out! <laughs> They head to Flynn's apartment to discuss the recent ENCOM security breach. You invented space paranoids? Paranoids, Matrix Blaster, Vice Squad, a whole slew of them. I was into another software engineer. Not so young, not so bright, but very, very sneaky. I still don't understand why you want to break into the system. Because, man, somewhere in one of these memories is the evidence. Have I got... We can get in there. I can forge us a Group 6 access. Flynn, Laura, and Alan head back to Encom. This guy's a little like Santa Claus. I make these myself. You want one? Flynn is directed to Laura's terminal. Hey, 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 it's the big master control program everybody's been talking about. But after a brief exchange with the MCP, he's digitized. <laughs> and now, the line you've all been waiting for. Oh man, this isn't happening, it only thinks it's happening. Finding himself on the game grid, Flynn is promptly marched to a holding cell where he meets Ram and Tron. After a briefing from Sark, the game grid. Those of you who continue to profess a belief in the users will receive the standard, substandard training which will result in your eventual elimination. Flynn tries his first game. You think you're gonna wipe me right out, don't you? No, I... But down here, they play for keeps. Okay, here's an easy one. 
Finish the game! No! In the light cycle holding bay, Flynn sees a familiar face. Alan. Where did you hear that name? Well, that's your name, isn't it? The name of my user. And now, light cycles. This is gold one to gold two and three. Split up, take them one on one. Watch it, watch it. Ah! Three to gold two and one. I'm getting out of here right now and you guys are invited. Got it. The fugitive programs escape the light cycle arena. Get them. The tanks power up in pursuit. But oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. They're not very good. The trio of conscripts find refuge in a cave. No boxes of scrap though. And consider their next move. Get out of here. We can't get to the MCP without the help of my user. The trio head for the IO Tower. But oh dear. Ram is badly injured, and Flynn carries him to what he thinks is safety. Flynn awakes and realizes he's in the cockpit of a crashed recognizer. You shouldn't be able to do that. Flynn flexes his user powers and reassembles the Recognizer. Well, almost. Sadly, Ram dies. Help, Tron. Ladies and gentlemen, a moment for Ram. Right, that's enough of that. Onward! Tron contacts beam transport program Yori to help him reach the IO tower. Tron. Flynn loses control of the recognizer and crashes. None the worse for wear, he continues on toward the MCP. Tron and Yori reach the I.O. Tower. My user has information that could... Well, could make this free system again. <laughs> no, really. Alan won. He calls me. You may pass, my friend. But Sark is only ticks behind. Now, I say ticks, but I'm not really sure of the timescale. Milliseconds? Microseconds? Nanoseconds? Tron reaches Alan and receives the information to erase the MCP. Are you creating the information on your disk that will erase the MCP and change the system? This is the key to a new order. Tron, Yori, and the disguised Flynn escape onto a solar sailor headed for the MCP himself. Hey, it's me, Flynn! Flynn! Yeah, greetings, program! Oh. On the way, Flynn comes clean. I'm what you guys call a user. And everything you've done has been according to a plan, right? <laughs> you wish. The gods are as clueless as the rest of us. Comforting to know. And when recognizers attack, Flynn uses his powers to help them escape. It's creating a junction. But out of nowhere, they're swallowed by Sark's ship! But shock! Tron's alive! Tron makes his way down to the MCP and faces a final showdown with Sark. Prepare to terminate. You're very persistent, Tron! I'm also better than you! Eventually, Tron wins. My functions are now yours. As all seems hopeless, Flynn jumps into the core of the MCP, leaving Tron just the opening he needed. Yes. 
Flynn is returned to our world with the information he wanted. Huh? Within a year, he's in charge of ENCOM! But that's another story. Anyway, that was Tron. And of course I'm going to put it into the House of Love. Was there ever any doubt? Swishy, sparkly, snarky and sarky, Tron is a piece of our cultural heritage, and as such, required viewing for nerds everywhere. So thanks for watching, and join me in two weeks for more fun and frolics. End of line.